Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be guiding you through one of the manual tools that we've got built into SpotMap to easily split spots that have been joined together during the automatic spot detection step. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be guiding you through the manual spot splitting tool that we've got built into our SpotMap software. Now, even with the world's most advanced spot detection algorithms, you are still occasionally going to run into a situation whereby you've got two very intense spots very close together that the spot detection algorithm can't determine between, so it groups them together, merges them. Now, you can see here the signal is very similar across both of these spots, and it's only through human vision that we can determine that these are likely to be separate spots. The computer software is unable to kind of draw a neat line between these because this signal here between them is still much higher than the background. Spot detection algorithms cleverly kind of distinguish background from signal, but this all just looks like signal. So to use the spot splitting tool, a lot of people think that they need to kind of draw from the edge of the spot as if they were bisecting it. But if you try and do that, you'll see that it's kind of really fiddly to get it into the position that you want it to. This is because that's not how this tool was designed. This tool is actually quite a bit more intelligent than just drawing a line between, between within the spots and dividing it into two or three or four, whatever it may be. This tool will actively lock on to the spots that you're selecting and bisect between them. So it needs a bit of information from the user to guide that process. So the way the spot tool works is if you left click on the peak of the first spot that you're trying to split, drag your mouse over the peak or roughly over the peak of the second spot that you're trying to split, you can see that it puts the line right between the two and you do have some control over where you want that line to be placed based on moving your mouse, but it's much more intuitive to do it this way than try and drag from the outside of the spot uh, edge. If I left click again, you can see that the spot is now turned into two spots and can be measured and will count towards kind of your coverage score um, and you can proceed with your analysis from there. So that's the way the spot tool is designed to work. If you try and use it by, by dragging from the edge, it's a lot more difficult than left clicking on the center of one spot and then left clicking on the center of another. As ever, thanks for watching. And if you'd be interested in trying out a free trial copy of SpotMap to use on your own images from your own lab, please check out the links in the description below.